do you think voter ID laws suppress the African American vote? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why? They might like require like a specific type of ID, like getting a. When I had to get a new passport, it was like over a hundred bucks. So that definitely also like roots out on um, the lower classes, like in general. They're not going to want to vote if they have to go spend all that money to be able to do so. A lot of minorities are suffering from poverty when you. Oh come on, man. I'll tell you what, man, the level of disrespect and racism and prejudice and assumption that's going on here is actually hard to watch. Here is a video. Okay. Black people are tired of this stereotype. I should add stereotype to the list as well. <laughs> it's just that. All right. This is coming from Men vs. Street. I'm going to put a link in the description below. This is a good one to discuss. And this is talking about voter ID. And these white liberals are saying that black people, because of racism, their skin color, because of supposed economic situation, uh, social economic status, they just cannot get a ID, an ID to vote. I was like, what? <laughs> like, like, anyway, I, I, let me stop tripping. Let's get to the video. Link in the description below. Like and subscribe to the page if you happen to be new. Click the bell icon for more. Show your boy some love. Let's get to this video. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's dial in. Do you think voter ID laws are racist? I think so. Most of the motivation behind them being put into place is rooted in racism. I think voter ID laws are inherently discriminatory when you look. The, the vast majority of people who do not currently have IDs are uh, people of color. Do you have an ID? Absolutely. Can you show us? Yeah. yeah. What do you have to say to all the people that say black Americans can't get voter ID? I don't even know why they would say that. We can get the same things that every other American can get. That doesn't even make sense to me. Republicans are just trying to make it really fucking hard for minorities to vote. Why do they do that? Because they hate black people. They fucking hate black people and they're racist. The black population is like historically much more um, financially like disadvantaged. Today we can sometimes see that sort of continuation of racism through our voting system in like education and things like that. And typically people who are less educated are less likely to vote. You're uh, disproportionately making people. These people are out of their minds, man. <laughs> these, these people are crazy. Like, which black people are you talking about? Do you have any black friends? Sheesh. <laughs> like, these people are wild who don't have IDs, which are usually people of color, have to go out and pay to vote, which is going to disencourage a lot of those people from voting. Do you have an ID? I do. Can you show us your ID? For sure. What would you say to all the people that say black Americans can't get voter ID? Seek help. I mean, in America, the legacy of white supremacy of perpetuating negative stereotypes for black and brown bodies. That's why they would think like that, but it's 2023, man, almost 2024. It's time to seek help for that. So do you think voter ID laws suppress the African-American vote? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why? They might like require like a specific type of ID, like getting a, when I had to get a new passport, it was like over a hundred bucks. So that definitely also like roots out on um, the lower classes, like in general. They're not going to want to vote if they have to go spend all that money to be able to do so. A lot of minorities are suffering from poverty when you. Oh, come on, man. Listen, if we. If we don't have money to get a, an ID to vote, you're in a bad place, economically speaking. Like, that is really bad. It, secondly, it's just, you think black people can't get an ID? Like, are you serious? Like, we got money for cigarettes. We got money for Jordans. <laughs> we got money for, like, don't you Don't you see how the average black person dress? Like, don't you see what the black man wears? <laughs> We dress very expensive, even though we don't have much money, but we, we like to look good, okay? It's just, I don't know, something about us. <laughs> it's just true. We shop some of the most expensive stores. I don't know, sometimes, you know, there's a lot you can say about that. But the thing is, you think black people cannot afford an ID? Like, are you are you serious? Like, like, don't, have you choose, have you, have you been in Brooklyn, New York? Have you, have you lived around black folks? Have you? Have you, have you lived in the Bronx? Have you ever seen how black people move? <sighs> Telling you, these people, something's wrong with them. And, and uh, if you ever want to know who are the modern day uh, racists, if, if time had gone, if we gone back to the past, Jim Crow era segregation and racism and KKK, like these folks will have fallen in that, in that category. They will have been among the people who said, crucify the blacks. Get rid of them. 
keep them separated. Th th that's the mindset right there. <laughs> this is the mindset. And I'm not uh, sitting here calling them racist, but I'm telling you, the mentality that they have, that was the foundation for all the stuff that's been done to black people. Like, what in the, who in the world are you talking about? <laughs> it's, it's crazy to me. Like, I know black people. I live with them. <laughs> the stuff you're saying, we don't even know it. We've never heard it. You make people pay money to get IDs. Uh, a lot of times, um, people just won't vote. They won't think it's worth it. They don't have the money, to, extra money to spend, you know? Yeah, they're not going to put, uh, like, the couple dollars that they have into uh, voting for somebody who's probably not even going to help them out. Do you have an ID? Uh, yes, I do. Can you show us your ID? Perfect. What do you have to say to all the people that say that black Americans can't get voter ID? Well, I think it's pretty stupid. Like, we are, we're in a country where all of us are majority educated and we have the resources at our hands and our disposal to easily find these things. Um, so I think anybody saying that is just dumb. Like, that's a really ignorant and stupid thing to say. Why do you think it's so much harder for black Americans to obtain voter ID? It's generally the history of racism. Like, we say we fixed it, but the system was basically... Her voice aches me, and it is, I don't know what it's about this girl. Maybe it's her beanie hat, but uh, no disrespect. I, I don't hate people. I'm a Christian. I just, there are some people when you hear them talk, you're like, oh, just, oh, just anyway, let's keep moving. Let's go back to the video. Let me come down. Boy. We have racism. Like, we say we fixed it, but the system was basically built from the ground up in racism. Do you think it suppresses the African-American vote? Yes, I do. Why? In the past, we've seen, you know, African-Americans being given, like, tests that have nothing to do with what voting is about, um, just in order to obtain a voting license or voting voter identification. So I think that that's something that we're still seeing remnants of today. So what do you have to say to all the people that say black Americans can't get voter ID? I say it's really a lie. It's all on, it's all on really the person. If the person really want to get their ID, they can go get it. There's nothing really stopping them. Why? Thank you, my friend. Thank you. It, 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 it's, it's a lie. If it's all about what the person wants. And there's some people, they don't want to vote. They don't care. They don't care about these politicians. Hey, most of these politicians are corrupt anyway. We have a very, very few are doing the right thing. All right, very few. I believe good and evil is in every single sector of our society. I don't sit here and demonize all politicians. But the thing is, if a person wants to vote, if a person wants to fly, if they want to get to the club, if they want to buy cigarettes, we get an ID. We figure things out. You understand? That's just what we do. That's just what we do. You want to vote and you want to make sure the voting is secure. You want to uh, establish uh, uh, voter integrity. You want to make sure the election integrity is respected in this country. Like, you get an ID, especially with all this corruption that happened in 2020. Yes. There was serious corruption. Yes, but Donald Trump was right. <laughs> yes, he was right. The, the, the election was rigged. I mean, if you don't believe that, well, fine, you don't have to believe it. But when you do your research, you'll find out, yeah, I, we should have voter ID because what these people were doing with the mail-in ballot, you know, people were like dead and they were voting. <laughs> Death. People were voting like four or five times on a row. They were stuffing the, I mean, voter ID, please. What I do. <laughs> I'm all for it. Let's do it. Oh boy. Anyway, he said it. He said it best. It's all about what you want to do. Period. Black Americans can't get voter ID. I say it's really a lie. It's all on. It's all on really the person. If the person really want to get their ID, they can go get it. There's nothing really stopping them. Why do you think it's harder for black Americans to obtain voter ID? Uh, well, it's really it's a class issue, and because of systemic racism, it's uh, usually people of color, so black Americans. Uh, who are at the bottom of the socioeconomic classes, which means that they mm. will have the most trouble like having to pay to go get voter ID law. Brother, are you out of your mind? <laughs> okay, you, you may be read about being at the bottom of the economic status. This is not because of voter ID. This, this, is, this is, you know, you can go to London B. Johnson, what they've done to black communities and drugs and everything, and, and what happened back then in dysfunction in our homes. That doesn't necessarily mean black people or dumb and stupid. That doesn't mean all black people don't know how to figure things out. Okay, a lot of us are business-minded. We know what we're doing. We, we, we're on point. 
okay, we're making things happen. But to to a large to a large population of blacks, I get, I get the notion of I get the I get the notion of what he's trying to he's trying to proclaim here. But but none of it means nothing when it comes to the fact that we can get an ID if we want to, <laughs> like we can do it. We can actually afford it. I'm telling you, it's just not that difficult. <sighs> stereotypes. I don't know. I wouldn't call them a racist, but the stereotypes is really bad. Like you gotta get rid of this. Like it's not racist to to get an ID, like to get a voter ID. That doesn't stop black people from voting. Like, it. wokeology, which means that they will have the most trouble, like having to pay to go get voter ID law or voter IDs. You motherfuckers, racist as hell. Why the fuck wouldn't black people have that? What's the difference between between us and you? Do you think it's harder for black Americans to sign up online to get their voter ID? Harder, not necessarily, but less likely, yes. Why? In underfunded communities due to, you know, redlining and gerrymandering, we see that there's lower education in those specific areas, which have a high um, amount of, you know, minorities. And when you're not, when you're less educated, you're less likely to vote. And I think that that's what makes it so difficult for people of color to vote. Seek help. Medical professionals are everywhere. Mental health is a priority. And, yeah. Seek help. You have some mental health problems. <laughs> because if you think black people cannot get voter ID to establish a, some level of election integrity in this country, if you think that's impossible for them to do because of economic statics and redlining and so on, Jerry, man, listen, you need help. <laughs> you, you need serious help. And again, it goes, this goes to show the level of prejudice that's going on in the screen here. It's just that some, some of these white liberals, boy, I tell you what. These folks are, are crazy, and I know, I know. And I think some blacks will look at these people and thinking like, "Yo, they're on your side, man. They're fighting against racism. Can't you see?" No, bro, they're putting their chain on your neck, <laughs> like they they're telling you, they're trying to hold you down. They 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 acting, uh, they showing a level of sympathy that we can look at and say, "Oh, that's kind of nice." But if you really look at what's going on here, it's a false, sympathetic. I will call this more like a narcissistic compassion. It's centered around them. It's not about, I love black people so much that I want them to do better. You love black people? You really care about black people? Like, go to their neighborhood. Go to their families. Make black friends. Invest in their education. Encourage them with their family. This is how you... Anyway, don't, don't get me started. That will be a whole other discussion. I don't want to get into that. But I'll tell you something. That level of prejudice, it, it got to go. It got to go. Let me share a little something with you very quickly. And again, all you have to do, you have to look at the person next to you and see yourself in them and, and, and put yourself in their shoes and ask yourself the question, if I can do it, they can do it. If they can do it, I can do it. And the moment you begin to do that, you will learn to treat people differently. The Bible says, but the stranger that dwell with you, let me make my screen a little bit bigger, shall be unto you as one born among you that shall love him as yourself. For you were strangers in the land of Egypt, I am the Lord, your God. So what does that tell you, friends? Treat the strangers in the same way. You, are, you, you, are, you want to be treated, man. Love your neighbor as yourself. Like, see, you got to learn to see me the way I see you. I got to learn to see you the way I see myself. It's that simple of a thing. And that solves it. I call that crazy rhetoric, racism, and discrimination, and stereotype, and all that. Like, that, that ends it right there. Once you learn through look to, to look at each other, like, hey, man, do you see me in you? Do you do, can you see? Like, can you? Are you able to relate with me? And that answer is yes. It, it, that's it. We can solve this problem. Simple as that. And once you understand this, and you want to be treated in the same way that you're treating me it, it, it's that simple of a thing problem solves but anyway you know the devil is a liar and keep confusing us much more could be said black people can get some voter id all right it's not that difficult leave us alone leave us alone it's not racism to do that it's a lie anyway those white laborers i'm tired of them thank you for listening link in the description below like and subscribe to the page click the like for more share your thought and perspective with me let's have the conversation below have a good one bye